Hey, what's up guys? The Camp and Russia here. Welcome to a different type of video on this channel, trying to keep it fresh. Today, um, I gotta give a big shout out to my buddy Mr. Mitch, because he came up with this idea for a video where we basically go to the far lands in Minecraft. And some of you have probably heard of this, I mean, with the recent uh, story mode, the far lands is in the that actual game that I've been playing on the channel here. Um, but the far lands is basically so far out that Minecraft can barely handle it anymore. And on PC, the Far Lands haven't existed since um, Beta 1.8, so years ago. But on Pocket Edition, Minecraft Pocket Edition, they still exist. So, um, big shout out to Mitch, you can go check out his channel. He actually does a video on the Far Lands in Minecraft PC version in Beta 1.8 or whatever, so years ago on one of the old versions of Minecraft. Head over to Mr. Mitch's channel and you can check it out there. But in today's video here, we are going to be looking at Pocket Edition. Here's, uh, I got my iPhone, you guys should be able to see it if everything goes right. Oh, let's hope for the best. Um, but basically, yeah, so we're on Pocket Edition and how, the, the hard part for me was thinking or figuring out how do I get out there? Because what the Far Lands is, is basically at the coordinates, and I'm reading, I'll be looking over here and reading lots of info to you guys so you can figure out uh, a bunch of, as long, you know, I figured out a lot, so I want to pass it on to you. Basically, at the coordinates 12,550,820, you are able to um, get to the Far Lands. So right there is when the Far Lands start. And what it is, it's, it, things don't load properly. Things load in a weird way. And I don't know why exactly it's these blocks, but it's there. And this is on all Pocket Edition. Um, this is on all Pocket Edition updates, even the newest one. But the hard part for me, like I've never played Pocket Edition. I downloaded it literally today. And I was trying to figure out because there's no commands or nothing like that. I didn't know how to get to the Far Lands because I didn't want to run 12 million blocks. That would take like days on days of traveling. So I, what I've done here is I basically downloaded someone else's world on Pocket Edition. That was the trouble in itself, too, figuring that out. But someone who's already been to the Far Lands in Minecraft Pocket Edition, I've downloaded their world save so I can demonstrate this to you guys today. So I'm super excited. So we're going to jump into it now. I've already been on once. It's the Far Lands, and this is it right here. So this is Pocket Edition. This is what it's like. So first off, you can see. We, we aren't able to see. I might actually be able to... Sh tell you exactly yes I think I'm gonna be able to tell you um, all that stuff you're seeing in the chat there is um, a, a different app that I downloaded to try and uh, it basically gives me commands it just doesn't give you the teleport command so if I go into my chat here I think I can type in dot C enter and you can see I'm at the coordinates 12 million five hundred fifty thousand seven hundred and forty five and and I'm actually on a corner chunk which is super cool as well because um you can see my Z is also so I'm in the positives here so let me head this way so if you've never played uh, pocket edition all you do is you touch your I'm learning too. my controls are gonna be pretty messy today because again I'm new to this but you use your thumb to move around your view and then you can tap on the arrows to go forward um, you'll see when I tap on the arrows see I'm trying to go forward right now it's super laggy dude so today's video is gonna be a little bit laggy but if you have to go straight it doesn't let you go diagonal but I and um, and I have to fly around I'm not able to to walk around so check this out though dude this is the far lands and we're actually on a corner chunk so this makes it even cooler because um, I, I don't know if see the thing is far lands is different in pocket edition and in PC version so here on pocket edition there's lots of random um, information that I'm going to give you today, um, but I'm not able to fully justify what information's for the Pocket Edition and what information's for the, the Far Lands. The best I can do is just show you what's going on. So how cool is this? So this is what it ends up looking like. And it looks like this in, in PC version as well, again, before 1.8 beta, so years ago. It's not like this anymore. Um, but this is what it looks like still on Pocket Edition and what, what it once looked like on... Um, on PC version so let's fly up here and get a get an aerial view as well because I'll start giving you info once we check this out some more so the corner biome I'm actually gonna oh you can see here so this over here you can see there's like there's there's the I don't know what to call it. they actually had a name for it over here let me see what it's called so yeah there's the edge of far lands and then there's the corner of far lands right so right now we're looking at the edge but if I move over here to the right now I'm on the corner 
and check out the difference. So I'm glad the map we downloaded was at a uh, was at a actual like corner chunk of the far lands rather than just an edge because now we are able to see both. It kind of looks like kind of gives me like an X-ray vibe. Or if you're a really old viewer to the channel, uh, back in the day I used to do Sky Grid Survival. It's like it's kind of like Sky Block, but it, it's a grid. So there's one block everywhere. It's it's got that vibe uh, completely. So let me drop down here. It's not laggy to fly up and down, but it, um, like I'm tapping the up, uh, like the move forward button now, and I'm still not moving. You know what? I have to, I have to make sure I'm turning straight or it doesn't work. Tapping it now, and then it starts moving. So it's a little bit laggy, but I, hey, I'm not, I'm not complaining, man. It's, it's super sweet. So in here, if, if we just keep going on through the corner, it will just continue to look like this, just this grid-like formation. It's it's super weird. I actually had no idea until I started the video that, that it would look like this. I didn't I didn't actually come over here and check it out. So let's fly let's fly up here now and give you a look. Ooh, I'm going super fast now. So from above, it looks awesome, right? It looks awesome. And for biomes, so there's actually different biomes throughout the far lands, but it's um like it, it's it's hard to distinguish the only way you can distinguish um biomes is by the color of grass apparently and again with pocket edition i don't even know if there's different color grass it's hard for me to tell right now but we're flying out here now you can see there's sand i think there's different color grass or it's just darker in some areas i'm not too sure and sorry if some of my settings aren't configured right i mean again pretty new to this i don't know what is you know is nice to look at from from for the eye for if, if i got any settings wrong but i think it looks all right and and it's just infinite ladies and gentlemen so so let me give you some info on this i'm gonna be just rapid fire and you can see though so if you ever do get out here you can see i automatically stop as soon as i turn diagonal like that i automatically stop but then i i turn straight again and it lets me go so that's a weird little leg issue that it has so one thing I, I, I should say, I, I've got a, um, there's so much info. I'm on the Farlands wiki if you want to read along with me as, as we're doing this. Because um, there's just, again, like I said, just so much cool info, man. I think we're going to wait till daytime though so we can see again. I've waited a little bit here and, and gathered some more information. I thought we'd wait for daytime, but it actually looks fairly cool during the nighttime. I also just figured out we're back on, like, here's the edge and here's the, the corner of the far lands. Like, trees and stuff grow, right? It, it, I don't know. That's super interesting, man. There's trees growing on these grass blocks. So, I'm going to read out, um, first off, the differences. What is the difference between Pocket Edition and the old PC uh, beta edition of the Farlands. What's different? Um, some of the information is super cool, so I'm just going to let you know as we as we kind of fly through here. So, first off, the content um, of the Farlands in Pocket Edition is, uh, is slightly different in biomes and structures in the positive coordinates. So where we are now, we're in the positive coordinates, right? But in the negative coordinates, in the negative Farlands, everything's ocean it's just completely ocean unfortunately i'm not gonna be able to demonstrate that to you today and is there actually mobs as well oh yeah there is like is that horses down there that's super cool there's mobs spawning as well um but yeah so if we were in the negative apparently it would all be ocean here there'd be no no um no blocks nothing like that it would be all ocean so that's something different in the corner far lands and and here's what we're just looking at now um an extremely unusual grid pattern of grass blocks will appear instead of the ordinary stack. Um, so what this means is basically what we're seeing right now, this is Pocket Edition exclusive. You do not see this anywhere else. You, you only see this in Pocket Edition. On the PC version, I, I'm going to try and give a brief explanation, but see over here, uh, it, it's, hard, it's hard to explain, but basically... It runs opposite. So see how things are running vertically, kind of this way, like all the stone blocks, all the grass. It's kind of layered down like this, and then across the screen is how it goes. Well, the corner lands, just to try and imagine it, go like this, across that, like across this plane, if you know what I mean. So it's kind of uh, you know, like this kind of thing. I, I don't know how to explain it. I've never really seen it. I'm just going based on what the description says. So that's a big difference, and it's not grid-like. It's 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 just like you see on the edge here. That's what the corner lands are like in um, in PC version. Flying is the only way to navigate uh, through the far lands on Pocket Edition. Walking is impossible because of ghost chunks. 
whatever whatever that is um i mean apparently there's some stripe land so things get um uh, there's a one visible one in, one uh, one visible one invisible block pattern <laughs> whatever that means that's at 16 million again fortunately we're not going to be able to make it there today but again just just telling you the the info sand and gravel do not fall from generating a pocket edition um this results in relatively stable performance because what you're seeing right now like how stable things are and oh check this check this out dude totally different grass type is this supposed to be like a village i feel like this is definitely supposed to be a village eh? do you see it like where the buildings would be oh that's nuts that's cool to see man that's real cool to see um all right actually we're gonna head back quickly before we do more uh more flying i want to head back and uh and quickly and show you guys something here um but basically yeah that's uh that's all the differences between pc and pocket edition and i don't know man i've the reason i'm making this video right it's super random for my channel but I've just always been interested in seeing the far lands, but never really knew how to get there. And today after, you know, probably about an hour of research and with Mitch's idea, I was like, Hey, today's the day we go to the far lands, whether it's pocket edition or PC version. And we just, we investigate, we explore and we figure out what this thing is all about. So I don't know, hopefully, hopefully it's enjoyable. And if you guys want to see any other type of pocket edition videos, or if you want me to go to the far lands and PC version, let me know. I'd be happy to, because I find this stuff super interesting. I, I really do, man. Next thing I want to explain here is basically water. So every um, basically cave, except naturally spawn caves, which, which kind of confuses me there, is filled with water below sea level. So everything, you, you can see where it cuts off. It's, it's pretty obvious where it cuts off here. But it's all filled in with water down there. It's all ocean. Um, and it just stays flat like that. The ocean stays flat for as long as you can go. It's all below sea level. That's what it's always like. Now it gets super dark in here. I know. I don't even know if you can see very well. But you can see there's still dirt and stuff. I want to try and show you. Let me go to the right over here. Uh, holy crap, I'm fast in water. There we go. So right here you can kind of see. So there's water in the crevices so even in these in these caves um the water's just the water fills it up so it, it's dark to see so i won't be able to demonstrate it to you maybe i'll be able to get a photo on the screen don't quote me on that maybe <laughs> maybe i might be able to um i might be just showing photos as we go through today but picture what you're seeing right now in front of you and then fill all those little crevices completely with water because that's exactly what it looks like below sea level. So there's another random fact as I continue to just say random things about the far lands. Okay, that's, I think that's all we need to do out at this point. So now I just, I want to fly for a little bit and see what we can see. Also, it's, it's super light now. So I'll just keep flying and I'll keep reading up on some more info, dude. I'm loving this, man. As we continue to just fly infinitely through the far lands, couple more little tidbits of information not i've read most of the super interesting stuff um basically there's the top layer the dry layer and the flooded layers the one that's cool though is the top layer is it's the only layer where you're going to see mobs and not necessarily trees i don't know if it's the absolute top layer but um, for example the corner lands the reason we're seeing it there is because it's getting all the sunlight right but even up here i've been seeing mobs not necessarily trees because i think we're we're capped out at the y level so i don't see trees on this top layer but you will see mobs and that's just because this is the only place where sunlight hits because it's just roofed right there's no holes no crevices actually we may have seen a couple little like one or two block holes little glitches there but mainly all the sunlight all the grass exists um at this level and that's why you're gonna find all the mobs at this top level um yeah the top layer tends to light incorrectly in day night transitions just random information this is because the sunlight uh calculation doesn't work when the entire chunk is blocked at y coordinate 128 all right man this this information is getting too freaking technical for me so i don't know that is mainly what i want i wanted to show this off to not show it off but experience it with you guys like I, I don't know i'm so happy i was able to figure this out shout out to the guy who put his map up for download because without it i think i would be screwed oh it looks like we're coming to a, a desert biome now so you can see there is biomes there's there's changes in biomes as you go along but you can only tell by changing color grass or obviously sand to grass. It's pretty easy to tell. So I don't know, man. And, and there definitely is changing color grass. This is different grass than we just saw, I think. So yeah, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys did enjoy today's video and want to see either more Pocket Edition or more stuff on the Farlands, 
Touch that like button, leave a comment down below. I, I can't wait to read them. If you're new around here, join the Rushers by subscribing. I'd love to have you on board. And other than that, have yourselves a beautiful day. We'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.